Hey everybody, my name is Ryan, and today in this video I'll be talking about microtransactions which have been added to Black Ops 2 on Xbox 360. Now, these will be coming out tomorrow, which is March 13th, and if you guys have gotten on Black Ops 2 tonight, which is March 12th, then you guys will see that you just have an update for 41 megabytes. Now, it did fix some small bugs and shit like usual on every update, but it is now adding microtransactions. Now, all the information I'll be reading today uh, to you guys and telling you guys about is confirmed by IGN and Activision because Activision did an interview with IGN, and uh, I will put a link to this article in the description, guys, if you guys want to check out the full article. But the first thing I'm going to say is that Xbox will be getting this tomorrow, which is March 13th of 2013, and PC and PS3 will be getting it at a later date, which has not been confirmed yet. But PC and PS3 will get it. We'll, we'll get this stuff eventually. That has been confirmed, but the date has not. Um, Wii U, if anyone actually plays the Wii U or you guys actually like have it Wii U, um, it's not really known if you guys will get these benefits, but I'm pretty sure you guys would because I don't think Activision's gonna just going to kind of screw over one console. But, I mean, they might because no one really plays it, but I don't know. But the first thing I'll be telling you guys is that there are two maps which will be coming with this first microtransaction, which are Nuketown Zombies and Nuketown 2025. Now, Nuketown 2025 is now completely free to everybody. Um, you guys had to, like pre-order the hardened or prestige editions to actually get the map. Uh, I did that at least. I got the hardened edition to get the map. And now it's free to everybody. Um, so you guys don't need to pay for it. You don't need to have any extra uh, game edition or whatever. You guys can get it completely free off of the store, which will be tomorrow, like I said, March 13th. And uh, the first map, which will you have to pay for, but it's at a discount at least, is Nuketown Zombies. Now, I actually really like Nuketown Zombies, but no one really has a game, and no one like, ever wants to like, really play. It takes a long time to find a game and shit. But now, you guys get the map for 400 Microsoft points, which is only $5. And you guys could get it with the Season Pass, I think, for free. I'm not sure. But the Season Pass did cost $50, and now you guys can get the map uh, for only 500 and Yeah, for only $5 or 400 Microsoft points. Now, another thing which has been added is a personalization pack, which will cost you $2 or 160 Microsoft points. And this personalization pack will offer weapon camos, three targeting reticules, and a calling card. Now, my opinion is I don't want to pay for anything that should be just free in the game, but that is all up to you guys. If you guys want to add that just a little more uh, unique kind of uh, play style to you guys' as guns and you guys want to be like kind of noticed like that, then by all means, pay the $2, uh, get the weapon camos, the targeting reticules, and the calling card. But like I said, that's all up to your opinion. Um, another thing is, for the people that are higher prestige, like me, I'm level uh, 6 prestige, and I've used all my custom class slots, you guys can now buy 10 extra custom class slots for only $2 or 160 Microsoft points. And um, that's kind of cool, just because if you guys have already have 10 and you guys can't get any more, but you guys want to have more classes than 10, you guys can buy 10 more uh, creative class slots for a total of 20, and that will only cost you $2 of Microsoft points. And the final thing which will be added is the Flags of the World calling card pack, and this will cost you $1 or 80 Microsoft points, and it will bring you every flag of every country in the world. Now, I think it's kind of ridiculous to pay, even if it is $1, paying for a calling card that has been in Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops, just all the flags. But still, I mean, if you guys want to be patriotic and show off your uh, your country of origin, then go ahead and buy this uh, this pack and use the flags to your uh, to your patriotism side, I guess. But anyway, guys, really, that's all for this video. Like I said, PS3 and PC will begin this at a later date, and no word uh, yet has been confirmed on whether the Wii U will be getting this. But I would think that they would, just because uh, Treyarch is not like Activision and I'm not like uh, Infinity Ward and won't fuck over a console. But anyway, guys, um, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to click the like button and leave me a comment. That's very much appreciated, guys. I really do thank you guys all for the support, and thank you guys so much for 25,000 subscribers. Uh, that's a crazy milestone, and I really do appreciate all the support I've been given. Um, just please just keep being active. I will keep doing uh, open lobbies, and I'll actually be probably be doing an open lobby next week, which is spring break for me. I'll make a video about it with the actual times, and I will be, but it'll probably be during the night or early morning just because I'll be busy in the actual day. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for all the feedback you guys have given me. Thank you guys so much once again for 25,000 subscribers. Please just keep watching, guys, and I will try to make the best videos and the best quality videos I can. But thank you guys, like I said. Until next time, my name is Ryan. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. Peace.